Hi guys, this is Ranger Z from Outpost 65714. <clears throat> and I am going to show you how to survive in an urban disaster. Alright, first item. First we've got your medical kits, canned items, you know, packaged foods, anything like that is going to be extremely good. Also, if you can get your hands on one of these, these uh, coffee percolators, you can use these to boil your water, you know, cook your, you know, your beans and like, you know, top ramen and stuff like that. Medical kits, anything like field or home, like camping, you know, outdoors, stuff like that. Um, usually they contain um, at least a hundred bandages, some uh, gauze tape for like any broken limbs or stuff like that. <clears throat> Um, you know, any foods that are packaged or anything like that, if you can get your hands on MREs, pretty good. Um, this, this is a walking stick, you know, a little, little big for me, but, um, you know, wh when you're going through, like, urban areas that are highly populated, it's kind of good if you are in a bit of a rush and you have to get, you know, through the crowd in a bit. So you can use it like a staff, or if somebody's going to attack you, you can just shove them away or bop them on the head. Um, good for like hiking trails and everything if you're going up like into the mountains, you know, isolated areas. Um, ah oh yes, buck knife, very, very useful when, um, you know, hunting purposes, hence the name buck knife. Um, you get attacked by somebody, you can easily defend yourself with this. Um, if you're able to conceal it, like if you have a jacket or something that hangs low, like right about here, you guys in this? All right, right about here, you can just strap it on your belt, keep it hidden, have the shirt over it, you know, easy to conceal. But if you don't have something like that, I recommend some sort of um, pocket knife that does the same thing that a buck knife does. You know, if you're able to get your hands on one at least. Um, if, if you're a smoker, then um, get the, um, let's see, this is the um, Four Aces Pipe Tobacco, regular. Um, if you're a smoker or anything, you know, this is at least a good month and a half, a month and a half's worth of tobacco. So very good if you're a smoker. Um, machete. I also shouldn't have to explain what a machete does. I mean, good God, people. You know, he, it's, I mean, it's a, it's a tool meant for hacking and slashing, but not stabbing. I, I know it has a little tip right here, but it's not meant for stabbing, people. Get that through your head. But anyway, um, moving on, lighter fluid. If you're a smoker, very good. If you're not, still keep it because you can use it to light your fires to help boil your water and you know make beans and stuff also good for like relighting um zippos like this one right here but anyway makes a great zombie torch too yes makes a great zombie torch just like just like zool said <laughs> but anyway in all cases you're going to need some sort of distraction if you're in a tight pinch so that's when that's the last. Oh shit! It's that's the last bottle rocket. Huh? Language. Oh sorry. But that's the last bottle rocket. Um. Yeah. Crap. Keep toppling that over. But anyway, very good for a distraction. You know, like the, for some reason I don't know what it is about fireworks, but. Three hours after you're bun after after they're all done, people will still be standing there going, ooh, ah. Three hours after you're done. Seriously. It's kind of sad. But anyway, um, night vision. If you're able to get your hands on some of these, very good. Very, very, very good. Uh, especially if you don't have a flashlight, or if you do, still keep these. Because, like, those flashlights... I mean, they're, they're good, but you honestly don't know what's out there half the time at night. Like, you don't know if there's, like, a pack of wolves, like, three yards away from you. You turn on your flashlight, you're practically w waving the white flag, you know? And, and don't do that with, like, gangsters or raiders or anything. If you wave the white flag, 
They'll just strangle you with it. Flashlights. You don't have a weapon, and you have one about this size, use as a nice, blunt object. Just also, a very good light source. And if you have to signal somebody for an airlift or something, you know, just wave around the sky. But prepared, be prepared to fight some people off. You know, like, I mean, the, like, you can fight off gangsters if you have the balls and the guns, man, but no thank you for me. Um, maps, stuff like that, you know, dice, watches, um, magnifying glasses to, like, see the maps at night, you know, pinpoint locators, walkie-talkies, cameras, you know, cameras for, like, evidence and proof of stuff, you know, that you were actually there. If some guy says bull crap, I don't believe you. Just show him the photos. Um, watches, preferably digital with um the uh, light feature. Just press the button and you can see it at night. Um, if you can't carry a buck knife, carry one of these small military issue, preferably camo pocket knives with a somewhat serrated edge. Um, dice. Just just for the hell of it, you know, get more of it. Um. Cell phones, if you still have service, very good. Um, bus maps, because those usually show you the highly populated areas, tend to avoid those. Um, ruler to help measure out. Um, katana, if you don't have a machete and you have one of these bad boys, take it. Now, um, under it is a um, sword case, well, what I call a sword case. It's actually one of those um, old school style hunting rifle cases, but if like you say it's a poster case, just like wrap your sword and stuff around, like wrap a poster around it and stick it in here, come undetected completely. And then we move on to our, um, why would you carry a katana instead of a gun? Because, all right, um, blades do not need to be reloaded. I, I honestly, get PO'd when that many people are stupid enough to carry guns. Uh, honestly. Like, two or three good clips and they're going, oh, I'm out of my way. So, to bring a long story short, knives and swords don't run out of ammo. Yes. Alright, moving on. Um, yeah. Armor. You want some sort of protection. This, such as this. This is actually a hockey leg guard. You know, some some gangster decides to like blow your kneecap off. Ping. <laughs> you know, just all that good stuff. And um, also, I also recommend um, is it on Facebook or Yahoo or is it like MySpace or something like that? But anyway, <clears throat> um, I also recommend. Let's see, I think it searches or somebody's, um, what's-his-face's, um, Urban Survival website on Yahoo or Facebook or MySpace or something like Facebook. that. Facebook. Oh, Facebook, yes. Search his Urban Survival site on Facebook if you want to join. Lots of great tips for every disaster. I'm Ranger Z, and I'll see you next time.